my expectations. Heisman candidate, All American, national title. That's my first year as a freshman. Now. That was like a freaking nature on their football field. Obviously, he's been gifted. They can't wait till he get up, get up there in the bad rooms and play ball. They're waiting on him. LSU, Alabama, Texas, your three finalists. I'm going to take my talent to, for the next three or four years, the university, the, the boo, baby, LSU. Book of Nation, baby. Book of Nation, baby. LSU gets the number one player in the nation. Well, it was a hard decision out of LSU and Alabama. You know, I could have went to Bama. Every school is in contention for major conference or national title. They were in contention for Leonard, too. I'm in my head, kept saying LSU is going to be the place. And LSU it was. I wanted to be different. I think the buzz that was surrounding him, him having so much success at an early age was that he was a man amongst boys. My earliest football memories was my ninth grade year when I had six games on consecutive 200 rushing yards. People have been saying since he was basically a junior in high school that he's the next coming of Adrian Peterson. For a big kid, he can run, man. You know, he's strong. They come at coach. How you get that guy to run so fast? It's not me, it's Leonard, it's God. <laughs> 2013, LSU had not recruited a running back in that year's class. Les Miles specifically made mention of not recruiting a running back because he had one in mind for 2014. It was very clear that even then he was targeting Leonard Fournette. I'm always proud of him, but when he came out the bag with that LSU hat, committed to LSU, man, that's a, that's a beautiful feeling. The city of New Orleans means a lot to Leonard because this is home. You know, he grew up right around the corner. You know, his grandmother, you know, his family. That's where his heart was. You know, he'll never forget where he come from. So New Orleans is associated with a lot of personality, a lot of character, and a lot of culture but it's also associated with, especially in the aftermath of Katrina, with violence. And the Seventh Ward, where Leonard grew up, was one of the worst areas of the city during that time. The Seventh Ward, it, 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 it was real rough, a real rough neighborhood. Seeing dead bodies on the corner, people getting shot, uh, just seeing some of your family members die in your, in your face. Especially going, going through Katrina going in stores, trying to survive, stealing food. Kind of, it kind of make, make you stronger than what you, you really were. I think with all the things that he's, he's, he saw, all the things that uh, he would like to forget, but he can never forget, I think he, he, he carries this whole torch. Not just me and my family, just the whole New Orleans, because there were some tough times and tribulations right there for the whole city. but he has found something that can be his avenue um, to make it better for him, his family, and for all the people that's gonna come after him. This is a great feeling knowing you, know, you have kids looking up to you and I have to lead them in the right way. What you see with him is what you get. You know, and I think that's part of his, his book of nation. Book of Nation, oh man, it means being united generates attitude. It's a unity thing, so everybody can use it. You know, it's just being real. That went to the moon, it's, it's, especially when um, Coach Les Miles tweeted about Book of Nation. <laughs> Some of us did come from nothing, you know, and now, and now it's crazy that we're something now, you know, we, we talked about all over the nation. He'll, be, he'll make great contributions to LSU. Uh, I'm convinced of that because I know he will work extremely hard. He faces a lot of the same challenges as anyone would. The game is going to get a lot faster. 
The difference between playing against high schoolers and the front seven of Alabama is a huge change. But all this hype is there for a reason. I never doubt myself. This thing is not to live up to, you know, being the next Adrian Peterson. It's being the next, you know, the Leonard Fournette, just being himself.